a National Hockey League rivalry renewed. The NHL 21 Blackhawks simulation season returns from the UC. Let's look at the goaltending matchup. It's Kevin Lankin in between the pipes for the Hawks. It's Jordan Bennington between the pipes for the Blues. The boys from St. Louis, the boys from Chicago. What a way to kick off preseason hockey. A rivalry. Here we go. Hello, everybody. We are finally back. These are my favorite videos to make, NHL simulations. Especially when they're with my favorite NHL team, the Chicago Blackhawks. Preseason game one. As you saw in my announcement video a few day, a day or so ago, I'm doing a three-game preseason, followed by a ten-game regular season. Kubelik finds Kane, who shot it into the glove of Bennington for a save. And we'll get our first stoppage of play. If you're new to the channel, I do these every NHL season. And they're, as I said, they're my favorite kind of videos to make. I love doing them. Hopefully you will tag along for this entire season. Braden Shen enters the zone for the Blue Jays. He was shortly checked by Murphy. Now Zadorov. Good save. Bennington plays it out to his defenseman Krug. Back is Ryan O'Reilly, the first line center. Walking in. That shot went wide of the net. Shen chased it back on down. Plays it to O'Reilly. Spin center. Score! David Perron gets the Blues on the board early. What a find from O'Reilly, who circled at the top of the far side faceoff circle. A little weak backhand pass to Perron, who then backhanded it in on the one-timer. That was a one-time backhander. Definitely caught Lincoln in off guard. And three or four minutes into this game or so, the Blackhawks already trail. So they will have to play from behind. David Perron picks up the goal. Both teams will throw the second lines out there. Back to center ice we go with Doc and Bozak. Doc wins it back to the veteran Duncan Keith. Walking through the zone, he was, his pass picked off. These up rosters obviously are not updated because it's as NHL 21, so it's main 2020, so I apologize for that. I'll try to get a new NHL game soon. The break it walks in, he was shortly destroyed. In the offensive zone, Black comes, Vladimir turns Senko. There's Bozak. Save Lankinen, sets it aside. Bozak again, walking through. Tip to Lankinen. He gets it to Keith, who finds Dabrinkit. Dabrinkit plays it out to Strom. Can he use his speed and get it alone? Here comes Strom. Scores! Dylan Strom gets the Blackhawks on the board. He goes back and forehand. And the Hawks have tied it. Back at one. 7.52, Strom comes in, a beautiful backhand, forehand deke. He was able to use his speed to beat Scandella to the net. And I believe that was Pareko as well. Yes, it was. He goes oh, under the blocker of Bennington. Dylan Strom at 7.52, evens us back at 1. A 0-0 hockey game. Third lines move on out there. There's the first Hawks goal of this season. Preseason, technically, but you get the point. Run around, aren't even 10 minutes into the game, and we already have a goal aside. Cairo leading the Blues back as they look to get back in front. Cairo in trouble. Center scores! The Blues do just that. Cairo with a wonderful feed from below the goal line, right out in front of Mike Hoffman, and we've already seen three goals, only nine minutes and three seconds into this game. Cairo and Pareko with the assist. Keith was able to check Cairo down on that on those half on that half wall. He could not intercept the puck, and then here comes Cairo out of nowhere. Hoffman ends up in the net along with the puck, and the Blues now lead two to one. They're back up by one. What an offensive start to this year as the defenses have not had time to get up to speed in this preseason. The offenses. Right where they left off. Krug back on the near side. There's Cairo. Here comes Thomas walking through. Good save. Lankin in to keep his team within one under through half halfway through the first period of play. 
with an action-packed first period so far for my packed house at the United Center. Suter and Thomas, third line centermans will go at it. Give it to Thomas. Krog walks in. Blocker save. Rebound given. Circling up into the slot. Backhander pass. Cairo in front. Lincoln and able to find it through traffic. And after a scram in front of the net, we will finally get a whistle as that play was all over the place. There's the good look, followed by the good blocker saved by Lincoln in to keep his team right in there. Tudor and now O'Reilly. Fox leading the faceoff category. Now Krug blocked by Henestroza, who sends it to the corner. Nicely done there by Vinny. Brandon Hagel, 38 in red, 12 minutes gone by in the first. Hagel using his speed, pulls up, centers Henestroza, blocked. Rebound, Suter just missed the net. Near side. Now Suter, it's Hagel walking through. Black, backhander blocked. Another whack at it by Kane, I believe that was. However, Bennington stands tall. And it's still 2-1. to one. Bennington got the stick to that one off the night and Suter. So Taze and O'Reilly's turn here. Give it to O'Reilly again. That guy is dominant in the faceoff circle. Here comes Krug into the Ozone. Poked to free to the corner. Connor Murphy picks it up. Pinned by Perron. O'Reilly trying to help his guy out. Give it to Taze, who was again pinned by the Blues defenseman. Lankin in. Able to cover that up after it came free off of the end wall. And we'll get another whistle. The Blues within their offensive zone face off to follow. Taze and O'Reilly one more time here. O'Reilly again wins it against Taze. Krug back to the point. Falk. Perron circling. Here's Krug. Good stick lift. Murphy turned it over though. Falk just misses the net. Lankin and pins it against the side of the cage after it banks off the glass. Back to him. A few near misses by the Blues as the Blackhawks are on their heels now. Taze and Bozak. Taze wins one. Zidorov, Kane, Hawks look to clear. Blues putting good pressure on him. Kane in no man's land. Finds Kuba Lake trying to run away from the white sweaters. And he'll finally be able to find Taze who will clear the zone. March back the other way. Jonathan Taze, blocker away. Taze again, having some trouble, but he's able to regain. Trying to stuff one. That was denied in close. Kuba Lake, another near post save. By Bennington. Out in front, it's Kane. And Jordan Bennington with another denial with 1.42 to go in the first. Another stoppage upcoming. Hawks were dominating. Just pounding those pucks in on Bennington. They got that near side. They had that near post there, and they just kept stuffing it in. But Bennington was holding that post well. Faceoffs are dead even at 5. Make it 6-5 to five in favor of the Blues now. Pareko. Marches back, finds Schwartz, who's in on the left side. Schwartz in front, Terrence Seiko saved a rebound in front. Terrence Seiko again, still loose, and like it and able to find it. He'll give it off to Mur Murphy. Now it's Dabrinkit, 10 ticks to go in the period. Dabrinkit trying to get in near side. He was ran over, one, maybe one final rush for the Blues. Terrence Seiko won't be able to do anything as time expires. After we saw three goals in the first 10 minutes of the period, we did not see any in the last 10 minutes. Each team with a goal early, but then the Blues answer back to take a 2-1 to one lead. Through one, plenty of offense. We'll see what the second period brings. The rivalry is at it again. In Chicago, preseason game one, Hawks trail at the break. After all those shots, the Hawks were able to get in those final seconds, or in that, those final few minutes of the period. They now lead comfortably in the shot category, 10-7. to 7. Top lines back out at center ice. Taze beats O'Reilly to the faceoff, and we're underway in period number two. Out toward the neutral zone, Taze runs back to grab it. Kubalik on the far side tried to dangle through. Here he comes. Blocker save. Up and over the glass it goes. Nice snipe by Kubalik, but an even better reaction. Blocker save on the near post. 
by Bennington. Just underway in the middle of frame. Taze O'Reilly. Give it to Taze. The door up. Just missed the net. Might have clipped the top of the post. What a look from the Hawks defenseman, Nikita Zadorov. Shen will ring it on down. Through the trapezoid, picked up on the far side, half wall by Zadorov. Under pressure with Perron. However, Taze over to help his man. This Here comes Kubalik charging in. Down will pull up, finds Taze weaving through! And he could not get a shot away. Now Kane. Down low! Kubalik tried to stuff it on the tip. One timer. Not successful. O'Reilly beats it or walks in. His shot blocked by Murphy. Nicely done on the back check. The brink it. Back and forth these two sides go. Now Strom lost it before he could shoot it. Schwartz slows things down and comes across the logo into the blues ozone. Bozak missed it wide. To the corner, Boquist and Schwartz battling. Schwartz gets it. Up top, it's Pareko. Slap shot, blocked in front. Hawks are getting plenty of blocked shots. They've been doing a good job of that. Strom in with the Brinket two on two. Strom walking down. Loses it back to Boquist. Slap shot, redirected in front, but Bennington saw it all the way. Plays it out to Pareko. Finds Bozak across center and into the zone. Bozak walking through. Cairo, another block shot, still loose. Cleared out by the Brinket. Here comes the cat, walking on down with speed. Dabrinkit looking to center, instead he's checked and loses the puck. He's down behind the play. Scandella leads the Blues charge. Near side he enters, pulls up, Bozak, and saved by Lankinen. We'll get a whistle with 10.02 to go in the second. As we're nearly halfway through this hockey game, there's the great look for, off the feed from Kane by Kubalik. Let's we'll see what the third lines have in store here. Suter and Thomas. Thomas wins it. There's Don. Blocked on one knee. Hawks continue to block shots. Give them their offensive chances. What a move by Henestroza, but a good blocker saved by Bennington. Dahan finds Henestroza. Another good look. Vinny's had a good game to this point. Yet to show for it, though. Hoffman in. He's ran over. Ian Mitchell with a sharp play. Shoves the backhander. He turned it over. Thomas walking down, down low, scores! Is that Cairo again with another fantastic play? Yes, it is! A sneaky play by Thomas to find Cairo, who was all alone in the low slot. Tapped the backhander somehow by Lincoln, who just never saw it. By the right pad, I believe it hit off the post, that inner post and went in, as he did not get a lot on the shot. By the right pad of Lankin in the ass, it looked like it hit off the inside of the post and rattled on home. So the Blues pick up another big insurance goal in the second. They have their biggest lead today. It's 3-1 to one, St. Louis. But now a turnover. Hannah throws a charge and he walks in. Hit the side of the post on the near side shot. Now the Blues are going to start back. Suter trying to force a turnover. Far side O'Reilly under pressure from Connolly now. Shen, Blues finally able to clear it. Here comes Shen, he'll ring it down, looks to get the Blues forechecking going. Dahan, absolutely cremated. Behind the net it goes in the trapezoid, Connolly beats O'Reilly to the puck. Here comes Henestroza again, being bodied up against the glass. Dunn wins the race to the puck. Henestroza forces a turnover. Connolly back in her blocked rebound, another block shot. Camp centers, and Estroza still is Connolly scores! Brett Connolly off a mad scramble! Gives the Hawks back within one! After all that, it'll be called unassisted at 16 12. The Blues probably blocked six or seven shots in that sequence. It was Camp, and Estroza, and Connolly all just whacking at it down there. There was four blues down there as well, just blocking the shots at will. But finally, Connolly found it in the low slot. Got it by Bennington. And the Hawks are back within one after a huge goal to possibly get some momentum back on their side. Three to two. Shen just missed the net. Near miss there. Connolly, here he comes again. Looking to lead the Hawks charge. 
Brett Connolly in. Pulls up, centers. Cam! Good save by Bennington. Connolly still with it. Trying to stop. Save. No rebound given by Bennington that time. With 1.59 to go in the second, it remains a 3-2 game. Hawks playing well in this first preseason game. Obviously, they were in that rebuild that we've heard them mention. So that's expected to be a five-year rebuild, but they're off to a good start today. Zadorov walking down. Missed it. Did not get a lot on the shot. Krug able to kick it free. Nice play. Finds Bozak. Tarasenko through center ice. Loses it at the line. Almost offside, but they do enter on. Bozak! Blocker save! Like it in! Bozak tried to go for it and back in. Like it in. Denies! Here comes Kane one on two. Not in his favor. Looking to make something happen. Slap shot! Just scored it wide. As the second period will come to an end. Through two full. In the Blues Blackhawks rivalry. It delivers. Preseason, game one, coming down to the third. A one goal game. Blues, Hawks, going to the third. Three to two, St. Louis in front. Hawks with 20 shots. The Blues have scored on average of every four shots they've taken. They only have 12 shots, and, er, and three, yeah, and three goals. Hawks have scored on every 10 shots they take. Here comes Kane into the zone. He tried to center. There is Taze below the net trying to find something. Wrapping around. His shot blocked and taken out by O'Reilly. Shen dancing through center across the logo and into the zone. Braden Shen runs it down far side corner. Walking through. There's O'Reilly into the slot. Krug. Good save. Like and soft through traffic. And... Keeps this a one-run game. Top line, Centermans and Taze and O'Reilly again. Here we go. Taze wins it. Nikita Zadorov marches on through. Kubalik near side. In with speed. Here he comes. Saved. Rebound kick behind the net. Krug able to get it out of trouble for now. Krug, what a dangle. Here he comes, O'Reilly. No rebound given by Lankinen. Ryan O'Reilly, the captain with a prime chance. But again, Lankinen says no. 16-10 to go in the period. There's another prime chance by Kubalik. The Hawks, however, have had limited chances in the slot. I will give the Blues credit for that. Dak and O'Reilly this time. Kirby wins another faceoff. He's been good in that spot today. Doc to bring it. Nickname the cat. Back to Doc. Saved. And again, Bennington does not give a second chance on the rebound. 15-10 remains another stoppage of play. Kirby with a great look. There was a chance in the slot. Can't capitalize. Doc and Bozak again. Hawks the lead in the faceoff category. 12-9. Strom to bring it. One-timer blocked on a knee by Terrence Senko. Vladimir will start the Blues charge back. What a great play as they enter the zone. Doc, Dabrinkit, here they come. Dabrinkit loses it to Falk, who will be able to clear the zone. Falk through center, flicks it off the glass and down. Out of the half wall, there's Zadorov. In trouble, Dabrinkit maneuvers his way. Strom, Murphy. Murphy nearly turns it over, but Dabrinkit able to get to it. Poked free as he entered. Bozak back to retreat. 11 minutes to go in the game. Schwartz to Bozak. Finds Terrence Sanko on the outlet. Looking to center. There's Schwartz. And a stick saved to the corner by Lycanen. Murphy pinned by Schwartz. Now it goes through the trapezoids. Zidorov's there to grab it. Here come the Hawks on the counterattack. Zidorov in with speed. Pulls up. Center scores! Finney and Estrella from Nikita Zidorov. And the Blackhawks have tied it. Two on answer for the Hawks. What a job from Zidorov to slow things down. And Estrella crashing towards the blue paint. 
And there's the goal that I was talking about for him. He has been playing his rear end off today. He finally gets rewarded. And the Hawks have tied it at three. Whole new hockey game. What a game. Blues, Hawks. It always finds a way to deliver. Here's Boquist. Hannah Stroza just with the goal. Boquist, Suter. He's countering. He's ran over, though. Pareko to Hoffman, enters far side. Hoffman with the goal already. Thomas now, save the rebound. Penalty on the Hawks. We're going to have a hook, and I did not see where this penalty was called. It will be the alternate captain, Patrick Kane, who will go off. It was a hook on Hoffman as he... Ugh. I don't know if I like a call like that in a rivalry game, but I guess it's preseason. You want to keep the guys safe. Now the Blues are on a power play, looking to regain the lead. O'Reilly, Krug, walking down, blocked, it's loose. Perron grabs it. Walk into the slot, save, like it, and no rebound given. Nicely done there by the Hawks' netminder. Chicago yet to have a lead in this game. They have been tied three times if you count 0-0. Zero to zero. One to one and three to three. Blues have been in front all game though. Krug centered. Oh, baby, like it in. Denies the one timer from Terrence Senko in close. Still a minute 31 on the Blues power play. And 7.06 in regulation. Blues get the draw. And a great save, like it in. And this one deflects out of play. Kevin Lykinen has come to play in the third period so far. There's back-to-back -back big saves. Carpenter and O'Reilly. That PK line for the Hawks. Stop power pellet play line for the Blues. Carpenter looking for a big win. He can't do it. Krug centers just wide of the net. What a save. I believe Lankinen just was able to get a piece. And there is the clear the Hawks are looking for. Krug gets it out of the trapezoid. One final power play rush. Hoffman finds O'Reilly. Perron! And a shoulder save by Lankinen. Sonora gets it! He banks it on down! And this penalty is over! Both teams at full strength. Hawks with a big kill. But the Blues still attacking. O'Reilly down low! Intercepted on the pass! Here's DeHaan. Number 44 in red on the attack. Finds Taze deflected wide. Taze again. One timer on a rifle snap or slap shot by Kane. But Bennington saw it all the way. 405 to go in the third. Will we see overtime in preseason game one? Out of three. Blues now lead in the face-off category. 15 to 12 after that win. Falcon Perron, he's at neutral. Run over by Duncan Keith using the body in his veteran seasons. Kubalik poked away, regains. Down to Kubalik, saved the rebound. Man, Kubalik's had a few good looks in close, but he's had nobody else to help him out. He's just having to been t using his speed and taking it himself. Blues nearly offside, but now they will come in on. Back to Krug, walking through, and like it and saves it. Terrence Senko poked away! What a play by Lykinen to get that puck to Taze, who cleared the zone. Under a minute to go in the third. Short, O'Reilly! No rebound given by Lykinen as the Hawks' defense is gassed. They need a change here. 47 minutes to go on the power play. I said 47 seconds to go in the power play. I meant 47 seconds to go in the period. Hawks win a big draw. Boquist nearly turns it over, but Keith clears the zone. Countering for the Hawks. Strom unable to gather clean control. Scandella to Shen. O'Reilly out of the zone it comes. 30 ticks to go. Shen snuck by a check. Terrence sank. Go. Denied by Zdorovs. Ankle with the block. Strom with 20 ticks in the period. Nice toe drag walking through. He will shoot! And it was blockered away. Nice save, Bennington. 
Doc walking down. Rebound still loose. Doc denied a few times in the in close. Strom to the point Zadora. Ran over Strom again. And Bennington with a miraculous save with 3.2 ticks to go. Oh, a mad scramble for the puck. And the Yacht cannot believe the Blackhawks do not have the lead. Doc, Strom, Zadora with prime chances. And now we're a face-off away. And maybe one more look away if the Hawks can win it. Tays rebound! Oh, Kubalik could not get it cleanly. Tays just instead of playing it back and getting a slap shot or a wrister from the point, he just shot it and he got a slight rebound. Kubalik could not get there in time. And now just one face-off will do it. What more could he ask for? Preseason game one, obviously this will not matter at all, but it's just for fun. We just have three preseason games to get through. This one's delivering. Blues, Blackhawks, rivalry coming through. Going to OT. 22-29 shots on goal in favor of the Hawks. As we begin the extra period. Five minutes, three on three. Next goal wins. Kane and Taze. Tarasenko wins the draw. Here is Kane. Key blocked. Shen finds Tarasenko for the Blues. He weaves through center a minute in overtime. Tarasenko pulls up. Centers. Intercepted by Taze. If they hurry, they have a two on one. Kane walking on down. He's stuck by a check. Kane denied. And Shannon able to clean the rebound out of trouble. There's Krug. He comes the other way with speed halfway through the OT period. Krug walking down. Nice stand up save like an enemy. He'll hold on for a whistle. 2.19 to go in OT. Blues with an ozone draw coming up. Taze and Shen now going at it. Taze wins it. Keith attacking. Weaves on into the zone. Duncan Keith checked. It'll go back behind the net where Shen picks it up. Tarasenko charges in for the Blues. There is Krug. And Lankin in with another huge save. And he gives no rebound, which is key. 144 to go in OT. Pia Suter will go against Ryan O'Reilly. Second lines here. 16 face-offs apiece for both sides. O'Reilly wins it again. Pareko through traffic. Lankin and saw it off the deflection. Now Suter. Up to Kubalik. Here is Murphy. Connor Murphy into the zone. He'll circle around. Center Kubalik right into the glove of Bennington. And we... We'll have another Ozone draw, this time for the Blackhawks. Suter O'Reilly. Give it to O'Reilly. He has been unbreakable in the face-off dot today. Here comes Schwartz. It's O'Reilly now into the zone. Poked away. Kubalik finds it. Hawks slow down through neutral. Kubalik, pass intercepted by Schwartz. One minute to go in OT. Schwartz on the counter. Poke checked by believe, a Kubalik. And now it's with, or excuse me, now it's with Kubalik. Back to Murphy. Now Taze. And the rebound was given, but no Hawks are there to get it. Both teams change. Pareko. Back to. Oh, it was intercepted! By Kane, however, Terrence Sega finds it. Pareko scores! And the Blues take it in overtime. After a hard-fought preseason game number one, the Blues are able to take it from the Hawks. So the Hawks unable to get a lead the entire game. However, they were in it the entire game. As there you see, it just snuck by the left pad of Lincoln and... Bennington was unstoppable in the overtime period as the Hawks' offense did not get too many great looks. They were on their heels pretty much the entire game. However, many things to build off of. That's what you're looking for in the preseason. They score three goals against the always tough Blues team. 
They give up four. Hard fought game. All around good game. Blues beat the Blackhawks. Final score four to three from Chicago. Thanks for watching. Preseason game number one. Two more preseason games to come before we move on to the regular season. Goodbye, everybody.